Hi. Jack had his photos today at school. Um, when is it? Friday? 24th of November. Guess what? Black Friday. Black Friday, everybody. <laughs> I've had so many I emails. Hang on, Jack. Hang on, Jack. Normally, every night, I get about 20 emails or something. I woke up this morning to 65 emails. And then between 7 o'clock when I cleared it, uh, you know, when I first got came down here and about 20 past half past eight when I left with, to go to school with the kids, I got another 21 and then I didn't touch it. Oh, just turn I just sat on the remote, changed channel, sorry. Um, yeah, but I got to work and I didn't log into my emails until about half past 12 or something like that, my, my personal emails. Um, and I got another 59. 60 some emails craziness uh, I'm not I have ordered something but it's for a friend at work uh, and it wasn't in the Black Friday sales his brother's told him what he wants for Christmas uh, and he's like can you order it off Amazon for me so I will get yet more weird book recommendations because I've ordered stuff for other people I keep getting weird book recommendations now because I ordered that co-op which has got bananas book for my granddad I mean, all sorts of random stuff pop up. So, oh, flashing my crochet at you. <laughs> so, how's your day been? I've been busy. I uh, did work and then I went to the gym and did my push, push, pull, pull workout. So, I did 10 minutes on the row machine and then I did some uh, a low row and uh, something else that's hard hard uh, heavy weights and then what else did I do I did dumbbells and went on the elliptical so I was done quite quick I got home in time to dry my hair before I went round to school so that was nice I wore my old coat today um, my winter coat from last year <laughs> it's massive so that's nice, uh, anyway. But now my my warm coat is huge, like silly huge. But I'm not going to complain. I'd rather be uh, it be baggy than you know not fit because it's too tight. So um, yeah, and I came home fetch your kids, and Jack's over there on his tablet, and doing some scrap mechanics. Checked and neither of them have got any homework online. That's, surely you should have homework but school set it online if it's not there it's not there so that's good um, so I'll show you what I've done I, I do plan to look at Black Friday yarn deals because you know I, I've got to buy some ice yarn for um, did I tell you I just hit myself in the chin did I tell you I got asked to make another rings of change blanket I must have told you. I don't know. Anyway, I've been asked to make another Rings of Change blanket. And uh, it's Paul's grand who's asked me to do it. And I've done hers in uh, the Ice Magic Light in beigey tones. Beige, grey. Um, I don't know, beige camel grey or something. One of their wonderfully descriptive... <laughs> one of their magical descriptions of yarn. It's this colour. Look, get out! Um, so... Yeah, I need to order some of that, but I'm I'm actually a little bit worried they don't do it anymore. Um, the one I've seen has got brown in it instead of grey, I think. Uh, and then I got an email saying Magic Light, I'm sure it's Magic Light, is on sale for Black Friday. But it's not there. The colour's not there. This is yellow, but not a, not a grey. But I know they had the similar one. Um, through Yarn Paradise on eBay, which is where sometimes I'll get it from if I just need a pack, um, and it it works out slightly cheaper postage than getting it um, off ice. The same same place, I'm not wrong really, but um, it avoids the temptation of me buying anything else as well. But, um, we'll see. So I'm going to have a nosy on there, but I thought I'd better pop on and do my video first. So I've been making unicorns. 
So there's one, two, three, four so far. You have to kind of do the eyes and the roses and stuff first and then the horns and ears can be done after because you, you sew it up. So we, we, you actually crochet it together, so you stitch it together, so that's easy. So there's one rose on there. I've been ever so uh, organised. I've <laughs> used the stitch mark and I've got the chains ready. I think this one's only got... One of them only had two... Yeah, it's this one, I think. It's only got the two chains, so I've lost a chain. Oh, no, no, there's three there. I must have another one. Check three. Five, six. There must be another one in my tub because I've done seven, I think. So I've just grabbed the outside colour. So I pulled all my pinks and purples and stuff out and then just made a load of chains because the roses are just chains that you kind of roll up and stitch in place. So quite cool. Uh, so I need to weave in all the ends on that and put in the eyes and do the ears and the horns and stuff. But that'll be tonight. But I had another one of those funny asthma attacks or but to, I, to I tell you last time it was that I didn't know if I was having a panic attack or something I seemed to be my heart was racing and I, I thought I, you know I can't calm down and I had another one of those last night but I was set up I was watching I'd got my watch on and I got my heart rate monitor on to check you know is my heart actually racing and it wasn't you know wasn't um it was higher than a resting heart rate but it wasn't fluctuating it was just higher, you know, it wasn't, and it wasn't like running high, it was just, you know, normal resting heart rate, sort of 59, 60, something like that for me. It seems to, you know, but it sat at about 80 and I wasn't doing anything and then it, um, I don't know if I was struggling to breathe, I felt like I was, I was really wheezing, so I was taking my inhaler a lot, but someone at work said it sounded like, um, it says you can get that when you're, um, diabetic if your blood's not moving the oxygen properly because you're at your glucose levels of so I don't know or whatever because it sort of makes makes everything move better and then they can you know get the oxygen to your lungs and then the heart and everything and I was like oh Phew. he's going on lots of courses for his diabetes at the minute so he's it, you know he says I'm not I'm not saying you're diabetic, but it sounds like it's some sort of you something's dropping and you're not and it doesn't sound like normal asthma. I'm like, no, it doesn't. Um then it says it um it says you get that with angina as well. And I'm like, Dad's got angina. I don't want to be it it's it's slightly worrying that it's happened a couple of times, so I may have to go see the doctor and I says that'd be typical, wouldn't it? I'm the fittest I've ever been, I think. Um, and I get some, you know, I'm struggling, so we'll see. But I don't feel bad. But I was shaking with it, um, and he said that's what made him think it was something, you know, some sort of dip or some, you know, blood sugar or something. We'll see. So yeah, I will have to go and talk to the doctor. See when they can get me in. Uh, so yeah, that's all I've got to report really. Um, wait for Paul to come home. We've got uh, Felicity's party tomorrow. Oh, happy birthday to Brittany and to Terry. Hello ladies, I hope you're having a lovely day. I hope you've been treated. Um, I hope you had a nice Thanksgiving as well. And hang on, there's something on. Sorry, there's a mark on the curtain. Uh -huh. I'm on Paul's sofa, so I'm on this side of the room. My sofa's over there where I normally sit. I was trying to sit at the window to get any natural light to come in but then I was uh, entering competitions because uh, there's a lot of Twitter competitions I enter on a Friday and there was lots today and it kind of got dark <laughs> so it was no help sitting in the window. Um, what else have I got to say? Oh, Ruthie, I'm sure it's Ruthie, asked me what tea I drink. Um, because she's a tea belly too. So I don't, I'm not sure where you are, um, whether you're over here or whether you're in the States or something. Um, but I drink normally, uh, my black tea is Yorkshire tea. Um, 
the my trainer did suggest I drink decaf because it's better for you uh, and not such a diuretic. Big word, big word Friday. Um, so it doesn't dehydrate you so much. But someone said to me, who was it? My dad possibly said the chemical processes it goes through to make it decaf, standard black tea. You're better drinking herbal tea rather than, you know, uh, black tea that's been tampered with or whatever. So, anyway, D Yorkshire tea is expensive anyway, as it goes. It's not like break the bank, sort of, but it's more expensive than, you know, a shop's own brand tea or whatever. Um, but the decaf version, especially of Yorkshire, is expensive. It's a bit dear and I'm not paying it. Um, so where am I going with this? Yes, uh, so I drink Yorkshire tea. I drink Earl Grey. Uh, if it's on offer, I will have Tesco's finest Earl Grey. I've not typically had Twinings, I don't think, Earl Grey. It's never on as good an offer as Tesco, even that. That's on offer. I've got Asda Earl Grey at the moment. Because I had Asda Earl Grey and it was fine. And then I bought some more and it was really quite citrusy. Um, and it was a bit too too much sort of orange for my liking. But I bought some again and it's... I don't know, it's fine. So, yeah, I like to have Earl Grey as well. And then herbal tea. I like anything usually with mint in it. I like peppermint and licorice. Really like peppermint and licorice. Well, that's a bright advert. Sorry, I've gone blue. Um, yeah, my favourite tea. I like pucker, peppermint and licorice. And my favourite is um, pucker three licorice tea. Because they've started doing three mint, three cinnamon. Uh, and the three licorice is just lovely. I love licorice tea. Uh, licorice is like my favourite flavour. Licorice and aniseed and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, they stopped selling the three licorice in the shops, which was annoying. You can still get it, but you have to order it online and pay postage or get it off Amazon. And it seems to really vary. Ah, oh, there's an Xbox that's got Minecraft uh, decals on it. Jack! Well, you missed it. There's a Minecraft uh, PlayStation, uh, Minecraft Xbox. Can you skip it back? Yeah, sorry. Watch. Sorry, we get distracted by Minecraft in this house. It'll be on in a sec, Jack. Oh, keep watching. Let's get back too far. Can you imagine explaining to the kids there were time there was a time you couldn't skip backwards on telly? Look at that! How cool is that? <laughs> Guess what Jack wants for Christmas? I want that now. Yeah, I bet you do. Um, yeah. So, pucker three licorice is really good. I'm not that much of a fan of chai. I tried it and I tried a vanilla chai on somebody's recommendation. Not for me really. Um, I don't like. What well, am I not a fan of? Roybus tea. I'm never sure if I'm saying that right. I like chamomile, but I find it dries my throat out. Um, but I've got I bought from Co-op. If you if you're over here, a rhubarb and vanilla tea, and that's um, apple hibiscus base, and then rhubarb and vanilla flavourings. I like rhubarb. There's a, a mini uh, micro mini brewery, micro brewery in uh, in our town. And they do a rhubarb cider. <gasps> oh, oh, that's a bit nice. It, it doesn't. It's like pop, and it's it's just lovely flavour. I, I like rhubarb stuff like that. So, um, yes, that is what I drink. Um, I had a couple of the pucker, uh, the cleanse uh, ones. There, I think they're quite aniseedy. Uh, they had fennel in, I think, as well. They're nice. I'd love to try some tea pigs tea, um, but it's dear. Uh, I watch uh, Laura uh, Fluffy K on the corner of knitting tea, and some of the tea she has have look amazing. Um, I think she gets stuff from David's Tea, places like that. But we can't. I don't think we can order from there. But my friend usually likes to buy me tea. Now she bought me some Assam, uh, and she got me into. She's the one who got me into Earl Grey. 
and I'll try and like white tea and cranberry and stuff when I go to her house because we're very civilised I take cake to her house and I'm like let's drink tea and eat cake I've not, I've not done that for ages actually I need to give her a call and say tea, cake or we'll go to the pub I like to drive when I go out with her because then I don't have much to drink and every time I've been out with her it's rained and there's been no taxis and I got soaking one day we've been to Nottingham and we went to the Malt Cross to see a group called Rob Heron and his Tea Pad Orchestra who are amazing you should you should check them out uh, I'll leave a link to their website or Amazon store or whatever um, but they're like swing oh it was brilliant so I had a great night there we didn't get back too late from there, but then I sat at her house drinking g and tea and chatting away. And then tried to get a taxi and it was tipping it down. So I walked pretty much all the way home and a taxi driver who'd had a fare had gone past me while I was like frantically waving at her, had dropped off his fare, came back and, and found me uh, near the train station. And I was fairly near home by then, but it was like, get in! <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I'm soaked. Yeah, it's a, it's an ongoing joke that there are no taxis. Um, and whenever I go out with Laura. So. Anyway, I digress. So I'm going to go. I've got a cup of tea now to drink. Um, but yes, I will update if I if find any new teas or any new recommendations. But Pucker 3 Licorice. If you're lucky enough to find it in your shops and you're over here, tell me. There is a... Uh, I think it's... Oh, the people who make Yorkshire, I think, is it Tailors of Harrogate or something? They do a rhubarb tea. I think they had it at Sainsbury's, but it was quite expensive and you only got, I think, about 20 bags. I'm sure it was three or four pounds and that's just too much, too much for my blood. And it's, it's too much to explain to justify to Paul. He spends a lot on coffee and stuff uh, and, you know, he likes that, but I'm not. I'm tired. <laughs> Often when it comes to water, <laughs> take my money. You see that thing on Facebook when I buy this, you know, someone counting out pennies, and when I buy this, it's a tight. And then me in the yarn store, and there's this person with like a big coat on and sunglasses, just chucking money around. I'm like, yeah, that's like me with the kids. Everything I buy for me, I scrimp on, and the kids are like, chuck money out. Anyway, I'm so sorry. Lots of waffle. So I'm going to carry on with the unicorns. Hopefully get the majority of the work on those done tonight. I'm probably not allowed to take a crochet project to the party tomorrow. But I might do anyway. See how feisty I'm feeling. I'm like, I bought you. Let me take my brush. Uh, I would say I'll have squidges with Felicity. But as there'll be about 30 family members there, I doubt I'm going to get a look in. But anyway... So, I hope you've had a lovely Friday. I hope if you went shopping in Black Friday, more so in the States, uh, you were safe, you survived. Zoe, did you brave it? Did you go shopping while you were over there? Um, yeah, I, someone put a video up this morning of the madness at, at one of the, I don't know if it was a supermarket or an electronics store over here. And they opened the door waiting for, you know, huge Black Friday crowds and one person walked in. We're, we're quite... You know, we had one year where it went really silly. And since then, everyone's gone, oh, no. Oh, no, that's too much. Too much hassle. And no one's really that been that bothered again. And the shops still do it, but I, I've not seen a repeat of that, that first year's carnage. But, which is good, you don't... We like to queue for our things over here. <laughs> Mind you, the next sale, the next clothing sale... Um, that can get a bit feisty that starts at about 5 or 6 in the morning and there's lots of elbows and not my not my scene I'd be well I'd get trampled I'm so short it's not it's not a good place for me really going I'm so sorry so uh, have a nice Friday whatever time of Friday it is for you um, I hope you've got something nice planned for the weekend um, yeah I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Bye, guys.